So hi there, this is my project. Uh, I'm using a crystal oscillator as radio transmitter and I'm going to make a range test. First of all, I'm going to show you how I'm matching the antenna. I'm matching the antenna here with the IPI filter network. It's a capacitor that couples the R from the oscillator, then a capacitor that goes to ground, a coil, and a variable capacitor for matching the antenna. As antenna I'm using this wire here. Uh, this is the isolator. The wire has a length of 1.25 meters. This is my antenna that goes to the output from the transmitter. And to the ground from the transmitter via loading coil goes the other side from my dipole antenna, which is also a 1.25 meter long wire. Okay, I have to say a few words um, about the modulator. I'm modulating this oscillator with the LM386 Audi amplifier chip and I was having problems with the modulation because the datasheet says the chip puts out the half supply voltage on pin 5. So I took a 9 volt battery and I was able to get out 4.5 voltage, uh, volts I guess but uh, actually it didn't work. I got out something maybe 4.2, 4.3 volts, I don't know I haven't measured it and I was getting modulation on, from the oscillator but it was very bad. I was only able to get low modulation levels and if I made it louder and the modulation distorted really bad. So I took a, uh, some kind of multimeter, actually it was just an analog voltage mirror suing device and I mirror suit the voltage and to get out 5 volts from the LN386 I have to supply the, vol the uh, circuit with this voltage. Now I'm getting out exactly 5 volts or pretty much exactly 5 volts on the crystal oscillator. Okay, um, I'll be doing a range test, as I said. I'm using this receiver. Actually, it says it just goes up to 26.1 MHz, but somehow, I don't know how, I managed to hack, if you want to call it like that, the radio, and now I'm able to receive the signal from the crystal oscillator. I'll be broadcasting my favorite CD, Trans Voices, some really nice tracks on this CD. And this is my Discman. Uh, something else I have to say, um, here you can see RF chokes, three, three RF chokes, because I like to have separated the RF part from the DC and audio part. That means all the circuits here is RF like hot, there's uh, RF on the circuit, but um, on the supply and on the audio source there's no RF, because here are the RF chokes. Okay, uh, there it works good, there's just one thing that bothers me a little bit, there's an harmonic around 58 point, uh, it was point 0.135 or so megahertz, uh, that's kind of bad. I mean, the, the harmonic is suppressed, it's much, much more weak than the original signal from the oscillator, but still there's harmonic, and the problem is that this is the BOS band in Germany, and the police or uh, the firefighters are in this band. And on this channel, on this specific channel, I'm sure or I'd say there are probably not the firefighters because they are having another frequency here uh, but still I hope that I won't cause any interference with this test. I've already tested the range of the harmonic and the harmonic is very weak it all it just it, it fades it fades out at the end of our house but still uh, it's not that good. The problem is the breadboard that's causing the harmonic. Actually I have to I have to build this oscillator on a good circuit board for a good harmonic suppression but I just hope they won't drive around my house and have any errors in the police radio system or whatever. As I said the harmonic is well suppressed but still uh, if I build the transmitter um, I want the transmitter to be perfect. It's okay, I, I'm, I'm sure I won't cause any interference because as, as I said I tested the range of the harmonic and it's really weak, it goes maybe 10 to 15 meters or so with a scanner and narrow FM. Um, yeah, but still I hope I won't cause any interference. Okay, next we see you on the range test video. I will be making them with another camera because this camera rec records dot .move files and the other camera records dot .avi files and AVI files can easier be cut together with the movie maker. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the range test. Uh, I'm transmitting on this frequency. Yeah, some buzzing noises. Now let's start the music. The modulation now is really, really good.
Okay. Eventually I'm going to rematch the antenna before I go outside because I had to make some experiments and I'm not sure if the antenna is still matched uh, at its optimum level. Okay, enjoy the range test. Uh, one thing I have to say, I will make three different spots in the range test. The first spot is 450 meters away from the transmitter. The second spot is around a good kilometer away from this transmitter. And the third spot, is, which is the last spot, is 1.5 kilometers away from the transmitter. Okay, regards from Stefan. And 73 of course.